All right, guys, welcome to a new video. I hope you guys are doing well. Another car video. We're working on the Glomp VR4 today. Uh, I'm going to be putting uh, an illuminated light switch, ignition switch, sorry. Uh, so basically, it lights up the, 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 the keyhole to start the car up. It lights it up. So it's pretty cool. The Glomp didn't come with one. Uh, a couple of the other Mitsubishi models came with one, Pajero, the Shogun, and a couple of, maybe an old, old Lancer did. So uh, I'm going to try put that on my car because I think it's cool and uh, just be a nice, fun little project to do. So uh, stay tuned and I'll tell you how to do it to your Galant. All right, so this is the kit that I've ordered. Uh, it's basically a switch that goes on the uh, Pajero. So I ordered it online for Pajero to use one, paid five quid for it, so not too bad. Uh, this is the original harness that goes in it. And I've also, because uh, it comes with a, a, a white bulb with a little blue condom on it. So uh, I ordered online some uh, green bulbs to match the interior. So nice color green bulb. And these are uh, 286 bulb. So if you need to find them online, these are about 499, I think, or 10. You can't just order one. So simple slot in there. Now I've got the bulb set up. So my plan is to uh, modify this to fit in the car, in the Gallant, and uh, wire it into the uh, headlight, uh, like the running lights or something like that. So basically the lights that I have for like the uh, gauges and stuff that light up the gauges. So it should be power to ground. It's pretty simple to do. So the only difficult part is fitting this. So I'll show you guys how the process of getting that to fit. I've never done it before, so it's going to be trial and error. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be a little trimming to do and stuff to modify, but. Uh... All right, guys, we're getting started on the installation of this uh, illuminated light ignition switch thing. The first thing you need to do is drop the lower console thing here. There's a couple screws under here. There's a couple screws behind here. And there's one little over here. So you just need to drop that. And then we'll uh, take the uh, steering column cover off here. And then we'll expose the ignition switch and then we'll get a closer look at it and see what we need to do. All right. Also, I'm going to try and repair this saggy uh, piece here on the lower console while I've got it off. I'm going to see if I can uh, maybe make that a little better. Uh, heat it up maybe and uh, hopefully persuade it to stay and get rid of that gap. So we'll give that a go. That'll be a little side project as I'm doing this other thing. So it's just got to remove this piece and that will give me the access to it. So I'll remove that now and then we'll give that a try too Why I'm trying to do the uh, illuminated keyhole thing. <laughs> it's always something you see and you're like, oh, let's see if I can fix that. All right, so I've removed that uh, the plastic trim piece in there. And Tiffany just started the motorcycle, but I've removed the, uh, the trim there and uh, you can see it just needs kind of like maybe gluing back down or just heating it up. Maybe see if the, it will, yeah. I think maybe I'll glue it back down maybe might be the trick or might not be able to hold it. We'll, we'll give it a try and see what it does. Obviously it's worth the effort to see if I can get rid of that saggy piece there. So I'll give that a try. All right, as you can see, I removed the uh, lower console now and removed the uh, lower console and steering wheel, steering, steering rack, and now I've exposed the key. So I'm pretty sure this just pops off, which just a little bit persuasion. We'll come off there you go there you go so that's come off and that's just basically the ring the factory ring that sits around the uh ignition key there so now we've got to <laughs> get that one to fit and it kind of looks similar to the right size other than this big bulky piece in the back so i'll have a play with it off camera here to see if i can get how how it's going to fit and then uh, i'll show you how it fits or if i can get it to fit without doing crazy modifications. All right, so that is it fitted. So basically, oops, sorry, it's uh, kind of fitted. That is, we trimmed a little bit off the corner here just to get it to slide on. There's a little notch inside that that lines up with the, with the ignition cylinder here. So it makes it slide on nice and tight, as you can see. And then I've ran the wire through the factory loom and it's just sitting here now uh, to run the power in the ground to it. So uh, we'll put the lower console on it now and uh, button it all up and see how it looks. 
All right, we're just uh, soldering up the connector here for the harness. Uh, typically soldering it. Uh, we're gonna put some connectors on it, some proper connectors and soldering. So we've got one part of the harness complete. It's ready to uh, be connected to the other side of the harness. We're just soldering that now and then we'll uh, get that all ready to go. So the only bit of trimming you need to do is just that little area there, just that little what, five mil trim and then it will go on easily. So it's quite an easy modification to get these to fit. So yeah. How cool is that? Definitely should have came with that factory. I'm, I'm loving that. It's such a simple upgrade, but it, it's, it just makes it nice. It matches all the green. Very good. Exciting. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, installation went really well. Uh, it didn't take long. It took about just over an hour to put that in, take, taking all the dash apart. Uh, I haven't finished yet. I'm still trying to fix that lower uh, console where it's separated. Uh, I've got that drying in the in the garage right now, so that I'll put that back on later. But uh, hopefully that will fix. But uh, as far as the uh, the key light, that that worked fantastic. Uh, it's only a minor little bit of trimming to do. It's uh, relatively cheap to do because uh, if you can find a used one off a of Pajero or some other car, it's uh, some other Mitsubishi model. It's really e relatively easy to fit. Just a minor trimming, and then just put it on. I, I didn't have to trim any of the factory. Uh, the trim there, none of the factory trim is just the actual light mechanism that I bought. I needed to trim the rest of it went on without any modification. So it's a very easy upgrade and it's kind of, it's quite cool, you know, so it's something you can do to your car when you're running out of ideas of what you want to do to it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new and uh, there'll be more videos about the Gallant uh, as, the, as the days go on. Actually, there'll be a video next week coming out. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, see you guys next time.